So let's look at finding the greatest common factor. And you know why this is important, the reason why this is important, that finding the greatest common factor of expressions will help you simplify a lot of problems in math. So you're going to do this a lot, but let's just look at the concept right now. So let's see if I have the numbers 18 and 6, and I wanted to look at the factors of 18. So I know that if I multiply 1 times 18, I'm going to get 18, or if I multiply 2 times 9, I'm going to get 18. These are factors of 18. They divide evenly into 18. And then also if I look at factors of 6, I know if I multiply 1 times 6, I can get 6, or 2 times 3, I can get 6. These are factors of 6. So the number that they have in common that's the greatest and the highest of them is 6. 6 is the greatest common factor between 18 and 6 and 6. So when you think about that, just being able to find, right now we're just thinking about how you find the greatest common factor. And it's really as simple as, as listing out and knowing the factors of each number and then finding one that they have in common that's the highest. That's the greatest common factor.